So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys want the theme song short, so here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the, any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Katie Snow for edge and entertainment purpose. Blade. This like it's all they did. Well, those years ago. See? Hi everyone, Martha here. So today we're talking about um, episode 10 and episode 12 of Avatar. Why are we skipping episode 11? Because it's not really that big. Deals this Iro um, finding a ship, and it's a pirate. It's the pirate episode, and we find out that um, um, Zu um, Zuko has. Um, well, that's episode 9, but still, we're just going to skip some episodes, and I'm told you I was only going to review some episodes of, of Avatar that I find important until um, the live-action show comes on Netflix. And I think the next two episodes are important, are um, 10 and 12. So, 10 is when we meet Jet, and Jet is kind of like, I don't know, he reminds me of Peter Pan. In a way, because um, he's a leader of um, a bunch of kids, and he kind of goes um, crazy, just like as you've read Peter Pan, he kind of goes crazy, and I mean the real Peter Pan, not Disney Peter Pan. So, uh, they stop at no, I, uh, they stop somewhere, um, Aang, Guitar, and um, Sokka. And they almost get captured by a fire place, a, fi a fire tribe, whatever it's called, the Fire Nation. And uh, Jet and his um, freedom fighters save him. And it takes a while. Um, right away, Sokka doesn't trust him because of his instincts. And he... Um, helps Jet attacks an old man who he thinks is trying to kill him, which we don't really know because we, we never hear the man, the old man side of the story because he, um, he like sh Jet shows him um, Sokka a sword that had like some post had like um, poison in it to kill Jet, and we don't know because we have like I said we don't know his side of the story and. Uh, Jet wants to take down a Fire Nation camp, but it has kids and children. Kind of um, a atomic bomb situation, where instead they use the atomic bomb, they use uh, a, a dam. And um, Sokka is, is worried about the innocents, like the women and children and people who are not there, who are not Fire Nation soldiers. So he tries to warn Sokka, tries to warn um, Guitar and Aang about it, but at first they don't believe him, and then they had to like have um, see it for themselves cause after they were like lifting up geysers using their um, water um, using the water benders powers, and then once Guitar figures it out, she ends up freezing water on top of um, Jet and realizing that he has become the very um, monsters that killed his parents and um, her mom. And man, watching this episode shows that this show can be for both kids and um, adults. Because the fact that they're showing things that when the, when the show's about war, and there's this little war going around, it shows this show can be 
for adults. And this episode kind of shows it because um, Jet was just trying to fight the Fire Nation, but he forgets that there's innocents out there. So, I really hope they cover this very well. I already heard that um, Sokka might lose his um, sexes in this new show. And the thing is, when he um, acts that way in this cartoon, it's because of the time period. And um, but throughout the show, he learns not to be that way. So... People forget that's cure development. I've I'm, I'm not watched the new show yet. It's just a dumb rumor that some people have been instructed that Sokka won't be sexist to um like the the Kyoshi warriors and stuff like that and but and to other characters who are women. And then he learns to respect women eventually. But I really hope they don't get rid of that. But the thing is People need to remember, need to remember if they just want to watch him actually have a better character development. Watch this stuff where we have actually more time. I don't know how long how many episodes on um, the live action show is going to have because I haven't looked that up yet. But that's why I like about the people like think, oh, cartoon, show for kids, show for kids. Nope, it's not. <laughs> So yeah, if they don't, if they do, don't put that part of him. If you, and then we'll find out when that happens. But yeah, this episode's pretty good. So we're on to episode twelve. Um. Anyway. So now for episode twelve, and this is basically where we hear um both Zuko and um Ing's backstory about how Zuko got a scar and about how. Aang got here from the past, hundred years ago, in the show, and I think they both explain it both of their backstory very well, since both of them kind of happened before the show happened. And so, what basically, let's we'll start with Zuko. Zuko ends up getting attacked by his dad, who we don't get to see what he looks like because he um said that sacrificing um, the young and an experience is wrong because um, one of the s generals in the, uh, the Fire Nation said that we should send um, people who were just freshly trained set out to die and he said that's not fair and he's beginning to getting scarred for it and he needs to be banished since he did not fight back. And we ended up seeing Azula for the first time smiling the fact that her brother gets gets hurt by her own dad. Uh, and and this is Iro telling it, trying to explain why is to one of the um one of um the other soldiers that are on the boat why Zuko is so um Hellbent getting the getting Aang. And then we hear Aang's, um, what happened that he was scared of uh, being the Avatar, that he ran away from his teacher, Yasho, who would have got to, um, it might be replaced because the other, um, airbenders, monks, didn't think that him letting Aang be a kid while he's, tr while, Yacha's training him was a good idea. So, since, since Yacha, remember, she's still 12, but the rest of the world, but the rest of the airbenders don't. So, and an old, and like an old fisherman tells him, like, you're the avatar, one who abandoned the world. And, like, a mat, and he, like, I must imagine the last 100 years of war. I mean, and one thing like it's brought back from like running away, and then now he feels guilty about it because he um realized he thinks if he was he would have stayed, he could have helped um the other vendors live. But Guitar thinks that if you stayed, you would have died. And we think the thing the thing is he would never known. 
And so they go and save Sokka and the fishermen. And then the fishermen realize, if you weren't here, I would have, been, I would have drowned. So, as I'm thanking him. So I do like... I do like these two episodes. They're important to the, uh, the show. And I really hope the new show covers them to the best way possible. So, yeah. So I'll see you guys later. And that's really it for the there are these two episodes. I'll pick which ones I'm going to talk about next. Probably just going to be two episodes each time. Up until that um, live action show comes out. So, I'll see you guys later. Like, here and subscribe. And... Goodbye.